little short in this. I'm <laughs> kind of, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey everybody, it's the Papa from the Papa's Kitchen and it's a busy day here today. We're like uh, four days before Christmas. Yes, um, everybody's busy four everybody's days Everybody's busy. Christmas. I went to the store this morning just to Publix and it was nuts up there already. And I still need to go back before Christmas, but I need to get something for today. We've sort of got a little bit on our plate today. We've we've um, got a friend who's not feeling well, so you talked to her. So I offered night. a dinner from the from Papa. Him, yes. In the meantime, we were planning on doing some sweets. Sweets. Yeah. yeah. And we really you did some already. You did some ginger snaps. Yeah. And I think I did those last year. Yeah. 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 And so yeah. she's got a little bit more going on. In fact, here I'll show you this goes in the oven in just a little bit but the last the last of those Whoops. oh my gosh that's thank all i you. need thank you papa yeah and um <laughs> i'm going to do a billionaire uh they, they call it a billionaire um uh squares i think or i can't remember what but it's got a shortcake and chocolate kind of caramel thing i'll, I'll go through it with everybody so i wanted to show you that and also, you're going to do my favorite cookie, right? What is, what is yeah, it? It's called Vanilla Krenzel. So okay. it's been passed down from, I don't know how many generations, oh, yeah. but they're yeah. German. Yes. And they take a lot of work, yes. so I haven't done them in a while. But and your grandma on your mother's side would make these. My grandmother made them. Oh, my, my gosh. Aunt from Hungary yeah. makes them. So I would go over to your grandma's house. I can remember at Christmas time, we'd go stop and visit. She lived up in Benton Harbor, Michigan. And you go in there, and she made these, I know, for me, because she knew I loved them. Oh, right. my God, they're yes. great. And she would go, I love her, she would go, eat, 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 eat. <laughs> i go, okay, I'll eat, eat, eat. Now you know, I wish somebody would tell me, don't eat. <laughs> well, grandmas are supposed to do that, yeah, right? Yeah. Grandmas are supposed to go, you look really thin. You yeah, need you to need eat. to eat some more. Right. Here, I got, I made for you. Yeah, I made for you. You eat. She had a real German accent. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> So anyhow, but they're they're easy but hard because yeah. you have to make they're sandwich cookies, so you have to make double. Yeah, but they're delicious. And yeah. really, when you eat one, it's a it's a. It's deal. like eating two cookies. Yeah, so you get a cup of coffee or hot chocolate, and you eat a cookie, and it's wonderful. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna show you both of those recipes, and I'd like to get this up to my editor. I'd like to get this up before Christmas, even though we're running out of time. We'll see if the editor see has the, the editor capabilities. Mm -hmm. So, you ready to get started? Yes. We're not, listen, we're not going to take a lot of time. I'm sort of doing a lot of this prep work and all that. You won't see a lot of the just hanging off uh, around and do this and do that. I'll tell you what I've done, at least on my cookies, uh, or my bars, billionaire bars, and then you'll... Uh, You'll, you'll get the gist. And we'll try to put the um, recipe into the mm -hmm. description. Somehow. I'm laughing because you're doing exactly what you said. I know. It. Okay. You ready to get started? Yes. Okay, let's, let's go. Okay. All right. All right. What I did now is to make the shortbread base, which is what this is, I did uh, two cups of flour, all-purpose flour. I uh, put in two tablespoons of cornstarch. I put in a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. I put in a quarter cup of white uh, granulated sugar, and then I melted two sticks, not, uh, it's a whole pound, uh, two sticks of unsalted butter. And I pour that in there, I mix it up really good, and then I have my uh, uh, parchment paper lined uh, eight by eight pan here, and I put it in there, and all I wanna do is I wanna make sure that when I lay the uh, the shortbread down in, that it's really pressed in as much as I can get it, and in no air bubbles or anything like that. This is gonna go now into a oven of 350 for about 35 to 40 minutes. It's gonna even get brown around the edges and all that, cook through, you want it that way, and then when it's done, I'm gonna uh, make sure it's cooked, and then I'm going to pull it out and I'm gonna let it cool, and then I'll start working on the ganache, and I'll show you that. That's a little bit more important. So eight by eight, shortbread base, and that's what we do. Okay, okay Sue, I want you to yes. show us what you're doing. And by the way, step to the to your right for just a brief second. Right. There you go, and watch, I'm zooming in. 
I got two loaves of bread done already oh, too okay. out of the oven just now. This is not sourdough. No, that's not sourdough. Regular that's bread. regular yeast bread. Yeah. All right, here we go. What you got, babe? It calls for six cups of flour mm -hmm. and two cups of no, a cup of sugar and two cups of Crisco and a teaspoon of vanilla. And that's the, all the ingredients except chopped nuts and an egg white to do mm -hmm. a wash. But that's it. We'll do that later. Yeah. So first I'm going to put this vanilla, a teaspoon of vanilla in the sugar and mix that up. I tell you, these cookies bring back so many memories. So yeah. I'd be interested to see if anybody has heard of them. And if they're relative, what is it called? Dog. Vanilla Krenzel. 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 The umlaut over the A. So K R A N S E L. S E L. Yeah. Krenzel. Okay. Yeah. Sandwich cookies. Yeah. Wow. These, these were a staple. My aunt, who's 98 and Hungarian descent, still makes them. Does she really? Yeah. Aunt I know. Barb. I don't know how she wow. does it. Mm. But so then I put this in with the flour. It's been years since I made them. I know it. I made them when the kids were little all the time. They love them. Luke and there was so much work. Nuts. I said I'm not doing them anymore. Luke Once I start doing these. sugar cookies, I if put Luke this. knew you were doing this, he'd probably be here for you Christmas. Think? Yeah. Oh wow! Well, maybe I should tell him. <laughs> Get him here. Yeah. <laughs> This Christmas is just going to be you and me, babe. I know it. Well, we've got for dinner the family coming. Uh, well, my brother yes, and his wife, Christmas my Eve. mom and dad, and friends from Fort Lauderdale. Now, I'm German, and so Christmas Eve was a big deal. Yes. But it's, I married a non German. Yes. No, you married a Christian. All right. The other wait is a, a heretic opening gifts on Christmas Eve. Okay, there's a poll, folks. How many open on Christmas Eve, and how many hold themselves with patience mm -hmm. and actually do the Christmas thing and open gifts on Christmas Day. Okay, this part you would love. I know. You have to do it with your hands. Yeah. Okay, so you mix it like this. We did open our gifts uh, on Christmas Eve, but then we got to sleep late or get up early if we wanted on Christmas Day, play with our stuff. We didn't have to wait for Santa to wake up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, by the way, would you like me to make some um, cinnamon rolls for Christmas morning? That'd be nice, Oh, I'd love it? that. Yeah, okay, I think yeah. I will. I love his cinnamon rolls. Mm. The ones we made already on the channel, Belle showed us how yeah, to do it. Yeah, she but... showed us. I'm gonna try a little different of twist course. on Of course. Yes, I know. <laughs> he never does the same thing no, twice. I know, it's terrible. It's amazing you married one wife. That's like playing the same <laughs> song over and over again. Well, no, wife no. is different. Okay. Come on, goodness <laughs> sake. I think it's the challenge of conquering as many recipes as possible. It is. Well, Which I is like it. finding which works best or what tastes the best or trying little variations. I enjoy that. Okay, so you have to mix this um, until it... Uh, becomes a dough. Do you want to show this? Can you see it? Yeah, I'm showing So you. it's too crumbly right now. I've got to mix it. I'll well, be back. All right. And when I've done this more. All right. Okay, how you doing there? Well, it's starting to come together. Okay. You've got to make them into balls. You're working hard. Listen, here's a nice little bite of white <laughs> bread fresh out of the oven. For you mm. to get your energy back up. <laughs> Isn't that good? It is good. <laughs> mm. Oh my goodness sake. I think you like bread more than I do. Mm. I'm, a, I'm my mother's child. <laughs> it is start. You gotta have a lot of patience to do this. Go ahead. All right. I put them, shaped them into balls. Mm -hmm. So several balls it says. And the next step will be to roll them out or you pat them out, maybe? Well, it says roll. Roll, okay. And cut them, and then egg wash them. You dip uh, them nuts. in ground nuts. Ground what? <laughs> Walnuts? It, any kind of nut. Okay. Whatever kind you want to do. Let's do and they have to be pretty fine. They're okay. not chopped. I've got a bunch ground. of pecan for you. So, it says chopped, but if I remember right, my grandmother yeah. did them pretty fine. Mm -hmm. 
and then you put them in the oven. Okay. So Good. we'll see. Okay, I'm making the ganache uh, to get ready to pour over the uh, shortbread when it's done and pulled out. And because we're going away in about an hour to go get our hair cut, I got to get this in the fridge so it cools down so I have it for tonight. So I'm going crazy. Uh, basically, what you're wanting to do though is you, in a medium mixing bowl, I am putting about a half a cup of milk chocolate in, some good milk chocolate. And, uh, and then I'm putting a quarter cup, and I actually have a little bit more here. I've almost got a quarter and a half, whatever that would be. I'm just going to use it. Uh, that three I've chopped quarters. down, and I've just, yeah. quarter and a half is three quarters. No, it's not. No, a, oh, quarter, a quarter and, and a half, half of a quarter. a quarter. Oh, a half of a quarter. <laughs> yeah. You're okay. And I'm just putting that, and then what I'm going to do is, and you'll see me here, I'm going to do three quarters uh, of a cup of... Um, of uh, unsalted butter again. I'm gonna use three quarter cup of heavy cream. I'm going to use three quarter cup of light brown sugar. Get that all mixed up and that'll make sort of the caramel sauce. And then when that's done, and I'll tell you the, the way to step through it, then I'm going to pour that over this chocolate. It's going to melt it. I'm gonna keep stirring it even if I have to use an immersion blender, which you can do. And then this, with a little bit of salt also added, is going to pour over the shortbread. It's going to chill. And I'm also going to um, put a bit of heavy uh, uh, sea salt flakes on top. It's going to be great. Easy to do, honestly. It's just this part is a little step by step. But I'll put the directions in. You'll be fine. Okay, on my induction, which really this works really well for because I can adjust the heat better, I have melted my butter. I'm putting in three quarter cup of dark brown sugar. Let me get that out of there. And what I'm going to do, let me stir it around, of course. I want this to boil for about two minutes. And then once that's boiling, I'm going to add three quarter cup of um, cream, heavy cream and some uh, a, a dash of uh, kosher salt and in fact about a one and a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt because we want it like a salted caramel taste okay, i've let the uh brown sugar and butter boil for about two minutes is what you want oh, you're dripping. oh i'm dripping <laughs> my hands are shaking oh my goodness now put in three quarter cup of the heavy cream and watch out so it doesn't boil over you also want to put in a uh, one and a quarter teaspoon of salt so here let me do here these are halves one half half and about a and half, half of that of half. Mm -hmm. there that is and you want to let this then come to a boil and also boil for about one or two minutes once it's done boiling lower the heat and let it simmer uh, uh, the salted caramel for about six or seven minutes and the consistency should actually get a little thicker which is what you want and we're gonna let that go and I'm gonna right now because it's done my shortbread is gonna get pulled out uh, looks beautiful and that's what I'm gonna let that cool down now as well and then this will go on top and this is a great great dessert people love you for it when it's done okay now it's been about seven minutes. This is thickened very, very nicely. It's the salted caramel. I've licked the spoon twice. I had to wash the spoon to be able to use it again. I, uh, oh my goodness, that's beautiful. I'm going to put it in here over the chocolate. And I'll tell you what, I pulled out my immersion blender uh, in order to, um, if you do an immersion blender, it's actually going to make everything a lot more uh, creamy, if you can believe it. And so we'll just go crazy here today. But look at, you're just melting all that chocolate in there. Now some people have asked, why do they call it billionaire bars? Here's why, two things. Number one, because of the richness of the chocolate, the caramel, I mean, you just can't beat this. I'd He's love drooling. To. I'm really, I'm, I'm trying to keep my mouth from, oh, that's funny. But I'll tell you what else is the deal. This, if you had like a rich uncle or a rich brother or something like that, you feed them this 
the millionaire, the billionaire, you feed them this and they will actually end up being mesmerized by the taste, overwhelmed by the taste, and they will leave you much of their inheritance. Is that, that's, so that's how we that's work that. That's the folklore? Yes, that's the folklore out there. Exactly. <laughs> oh, gotta do this. Okay, okay. that's so, all it goes. That, I mean the cord. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, fun, fun. I'm being very careful. I'd be coated in chocolate, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh my goodness. And again, another thing to lick here. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, now, my, uh, it's a little warm yet, but it's gonna be fine. It needed just a few moments out. This gets poured over. I always wonder. I always wonder about everything. <laughs> And then it all goes in the fridge. And it all goes in the fridge. And when we get back from our haircut, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to cut it into little bars. And, uh, oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. And then look at, here's another thing. I got some Malden salt. And just take a little and drop it. In fact, I think I'll wait and drop this after the uh, after it's uh, cooled yeah. down. So there there it is folks that's as easy as it gets going in the fridge i'll show it to you all cut and i'll even maybe take a bite of it who can resist okay, okay babe what are you doing all right so i had to add something i added sugar to my um nuts so okay. i put my nuts actually in a coffee what grinder what kind of nuts are you using me. what kind of nuts are you using um i i use walnuts walnuts okay. but um I just put my chopped nuts in a coffee grinder. Okay. And the reason I did that is it needs to be a little finer than just chopped. I see, yeah. And then I had to add a little sugar to those nuts, okay. all right? So then I had uh, made my dough, yeah. and what I've been doing, I rolled them out, and they need to be like half of a cookie. Oh, yeah. Because remember, you're going to put them together. Yeah, yeah. So then, uh, let me get rid of these here. And they don't, they can be close together. Oh, you've got a tray already lined up. Yeah, there. I have one tray mm -hmm. done. But they can be pretty close together because they don't, um, okay. they don't rise or anything. There's nothing and in there. And you're using like a biscuit cutter so too, right? I used this size, mm -hmm. which is a small juice or a juice glass. Yeah. And then... You don't have to roll them too much, honestly, and you just have to press them mainly. Yeah. So then I have two eggs here that I just took the egg white and mixed it up with a fork. Uh -huh. And then I dumped these in here, and I've noticed they don't get much on them, so I push Catch a little more, more on okay. them. And this is the tedious part, actually. Yeah. Uh, but they turn out so um, good. Yeah. I and noticed then, you're about a quarter inch thick on that dough. Not even, you think? Yeah, maybe. maybe yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been putting two in my hand at a time. Yeah, sure. Kind of, Why not? So I may have to actually grind some more nuts, yeah. but we'll see. Yeah, and you could use pecans too, ground you down. Could use, it doesn't call for any certain nut. No. Uh -huh. So I think you could just do whatever. Nice. Then these go in the oven and they cook um, for eight to ten minutes okay. at 350. Okay. So you're not looking for brown as much as, I guess, solid, you know, so yeah. they're not squishy anymore. Yeah. But honestly, you can tell, I think, when they're cooked. Yeah, sure. So I'll get some of these cooked, and then I'll show you how we put them together Great. and make them in a sandwich. Wonderful. This is the hard part. <laughs> and now that I turned our lights on, I can see it a little bit better. This stuff gets messy. Oh, it does. And, and crumbly. Mm -hmm. So I try not to put too much flour mm -hmm. down. Oh, I'm anxious. Okay, good. All but right. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Bye. Hey, hi. Okay, it's been a crazy whole day of cooking. I am so tired. We're both exhausted, but we're both very ready to try yes. the cookies and the salted caramel shortbread. Yeah. The billionaire. The billionaire. Uh, bars. The That's billionaire bars. Sue, so these came out. Okay, beautiful. wait, 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 wait. Oh. No, no, no. So mm. they come out like this. So you've got each one filled with nuts, and you take it 
Ugh. And these are almost like shortbread, really. They are honestly. shortbread. Yeah. They're just no butter. No it's butter, not but butter. they have lard. So <laughs> then you put, lard, but, uh, we'd use sure. um, red raspberry jam. Yeah. Okay, and, and look at And look I don't at. put much. Ooh, can I have that one? Yes, you can oh, have thank that you. one. Thank you. I love it. And these. they're crumbly. I mean, mm -hmm. they make a mess. Ooh, the jam's coming out all over. Mm. Is it what you remember? Mm. More okay. so. I got it. Oh, one. my lord. Mm. Okay, Susan. Grandma. I'm thinking of you, Grandma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They can be messy, mm -hmm. so you, the nuts you lean over, fall but off. it's one row. It's a good kind of mess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. They're worth the time mm -hmm. and the energy and don't the effort. Don't put these even near my father. He'll eat them all. Mm -hmm. no, I don't think so. Okay. In one they don't have chocolate. No. Mm -hmm. He'll eat that. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I just took one bite because I want to try that too. Okay. Well, on top of these, what I did is I sprinkled a little of that molten salt, which is that big crystal stuff. So it just gives it a little nice look. Or you could shave some dark chocolate on there too. It looked neat. Yeah, okay. So whatever. And this is the small little piece because they're so rich also. Are you going to eat that whole thing? No, I'm not, I'm not. I've already had one. I can't eat another oh. one. Okay. But you well, go ahead. I, wanna, I don't want a whole one. Give me a knife. I'm oh, cut a well, I bit. think it'll be too long. Um, no, let's try. Mm -hmm. Just a sharp knife. Oh, huge knife. Well, that's Jeez. all I had. <laughs> There's a little knife over there. Here, it'll work. There you go. It's, I just want to see. You know what? I might just take there the other. There you go. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh. Oh. These are so good. These are really good. Aren't those good? Those are decadent. It's that salted caramel. I'm Isn't trying. it good? Mm. And chocolate. My goodness. If you make both of these, oh, yeah. make them for New Year's yeah. or something. And, and like I said, find that rich uncle and make it just say, Uncle, I made these special for you. <laughs> Here, he'll write you right back into the will. <laughs> we wish you all a really Merry Christmas. Yeah, we really do. Enjoy your family. Yes. And remember the reason, as they say, for yes. the season. season. Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's the reason. Yeah. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.